Matt Manweller, Washington's 13th District State Representative, is a Republican, husband, father, and professor. He supports more vocational education, opposes the income and carbon tax, and defends the Second Amendment. Vote Manweller for your state rep. I'm Matt Manweller. And we approve this message. Far away from many bright lights, the small town of Wilson Creek is where sophomore Peyton Burkhart calls home. Burkhart makes a 25-minute drive every day to compete on Soap Lake's football team. I started in seventh grade and it was kind of a dare between me and some of the boys in our class that I wouldn't play. Then I ended up joining seventh grade and it just kind of stuck. Eighth grade I got my very first touchdown and it was 70 yards I think. And then I just kind of stuck with it and just really, really fell in love with it. Head coach Tony Blankenship gave high praise of Burkhart because of her willingness to do whatever she's asked. Burkhart isn't afraid of being in the heart of the action. She's lined up at receiver, tight end, cornerback, safety, linebacker, and lineman. She even took a few snaps at quarterback during a JV game on Monday. Her willingness to play positions where she takes hits sets her apart from many other girls who play football at safer positions. They're like all these posi positions that are you're really protected and you're not in with everyone else. Like I have bruises all over, I have scrapes and stuff. You don't see that on a lot of girls that play football. But like when I get a bruise, I'll show it to people like, oh, look at this bruise. I got it Monday night or I got it Friday night. Burkhart broke her wrist last season, but returned to football this year and plans to play through her high school career because of her love for the game. I just kind of try not to worry about it. Football's what I love, so it's just, it didn't bother me. I'm just, I just pray and hope that it doesn't happen next year. For Burkhart, respect from the boys was something she feels like she earned and she's proud of. At first in seventh grade, it was like a little bit different, it's scary, it scared me. But then they, I, they got used to me and noticed that I keep up with everyone and I play and now they respect me. So Blake's next game will be this Friday when they host Oroville. And Burkhart will be there with all the boys just like she is every week. I'm Adam Chikoski for i 5 one Sports.